Hello everyone and my name is Praveen Kumar. I am a faculty member in the Department of Electronics and Electrical Engineering in IIT Guwahati and today I am going to give a brief overview of the course that we would be developing and the name of the course is Electric and Hybrid Electric Vehicle Technology. Now with the new announcement from the Government of India on e-mobility, uh, this course would be becoming very important because the country as such lacks a know-how in the area of electric and hybrid electric vehicles. Now this is an attempt to introduce the subject to the students who would be doing their final year of undergraduate studies or the first year of postgraduate studies. Now this course is a very simplest uh, is designed for people who do not have much background in the area of electrical and hybrid electrical vehicles. So the course would contain around 11 modules. So the course is divided into 11 distinct modules and altogether there are 42 lectures. Now each of the lecture would be divided into 15 minute videos approximately depending on the content and also depending on the topic that the module the, the 15 minute module is going to contain. Now I will give you a brief introduction of the course content. So here we would be first having an introduction to hybrid and electric vehicles. So the history behind such kind of vehicles, when did the complete idea and the concept of hybrid and electric hybrid vehicles start and what are the advantages of such kind of vehicles. Then we will move on to the next part which is the physics or the motion dynamics of conventional vehicles. So we will be first understanding that how the conventional vehicles work, how the performance of the various kinds of conventional vehicles is calculated, what are the indices on which these vehicles are evaluated. Now after having done that we would switch our attention to the hybrid electric vehicle drives. So in hybrid electric vehicle drives, we would be seeing what are the basic configurations of such uh, vehicles such as parallel hybrid vehicles, series hybrid vehicles, complex hybrid vehicles, series parallel hybrid vehicles and so on. So all these architectures would be discussed and once we have done that, we will be proceeding towards pure electric vehicles. So, we will start with some differences between the hybrid electric vehicles and pure electric vehicles and we would see that what are the various configurations that are possible for uh, pure electric vehicles. Now by configuration I mean a number of electric drives that are used for propulsion of the vehicle. So we could have a single motor drive, a multi motor drive, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive and so on. So all these topics would be discussed in this section. Then we will move on to the electric propulsion unit. So in the electric propulsion unit, we would be looking at various kinds of electrical components that go into building up the electric vehicle as well as the hybrid electric vehicle. Now by components, I mean the type of machines which will be used are the DC machines or AC machines and then again we will be looking at the configuration of those machines and also the characteristics of these machines because the performance of the vehicle will mostly depend on the characteristics of the electrical machines that will be used for propulsion. So it is very important to understand how the characteristics of the machines can be tailored to the requirements of the vehicle's motion. After that, we would be looking at another very important aspect of the hybrid and electric hybrid vehicles and that is the energy storage. Now there are various kinds of energy storage technologies that exist today such as supercapacitors and batteries and in batteries the most commonly used batteries are the lithium ion batteries. So we will be having a look at all of those. Uh, energy storage devices and systems that are available and what are the issues and challenges associated with each of them. After having done that, we would be moving towards sizing of the drive system. So by si in this section actually, we would be looking at how can we decide upon the ratings of each of the components. So by components, I mean the rating of the converters that will go inside the vehicle, the rating of the motors that would go inside the vehicle and so on. 
So, it is very important that each and every component or the subsystem of the uh, propulsion unit should be properly sized and these will be analyzed based on the uh, requirement of the vehicle. So, it would depend on what kind of vehicle are we designing. Is it a personal vehicle like a car or is it a commercial vehicle like a bus and so on. So, each vehicle will have its own requirement and then we will try to see that how the sizing of the components or the subsystems can be done. Next topic would be about the energy management strategies. Well, here in case of hybrid electric vehicles and electric vehicles, one of the most important component is the energy storage system that is the batteries or the supercapacitors. Now, since these energy storage systems are not as energy dense as the conventional petroleum fuel, so it is very important to have a very intelligent energy management strategy. Now, this energy management strategy would basically determine that how best we can use the stored electrical energy in the batteries and get the maximum mileage out of it. So, the success or the failure of the drivetrain configuration would depend on how good the energy management strategy is developed. Now, after having understood the energy management strategy, we would then move towards various kinds of case studies. So, in this case studies, we would be looking at the existing configurations of the hybrid electric vehicles and electric vehicles that are commercially available and we will be also looking at some of the configurations which are in the research stage both in the academia and in the industry and would be hitting the market in very near future. Now, these case studies will help us to use all the concepts that we have studied in our course and they would be applied in analyzing the various kinds of actually existing hybrid electric vehicles and electric vehicles. So, the purpose of this course is to give a theoretical foundation as well as some practical insight into the designing of electric vehicles and as I told in the beginning that this is going to be a very important and essential topic in near future and this course is an effort to develop a basic understanding among the students for this futuristic technology and I hope this course would be very useful and enjoyable to you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your patience.